Hi, it's John McGivern for Arts Digest. Now, I have made a living with humor. We're at the John Michael Kohler Arts Center in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, for an exhibition called A Sense of Humor, a series of exhibitions. Physical comedy, playful gestures, irreverence, laughing at ourselves. We're here with uh, Amy Kalupka, who is the curator of this exhibit. There are some wonderful artists who are um, addressing humor in many different ways. We have 22 artists in this exhibition from all over the world. I welded for a living, and now I think I'm a piece of artwork. What's underneath the big white sock is actually a, um, a welding arm from an old Chrysler factory that's now defunct. Is, you know, um, Mike Simi is the artist who created this piece. So he actually purchased this arm from the factory and decided to make a giant sock puppet with it. So. And what he's talking about is the fact that he used to work in a factory and now he doesn't know how to be a puppet. That's right, that? that's right. He's, he's kind of waxing poetic about his former life and is a little confused about being an art object now. However this guy did this is kind of remarkable. Yes, Gregory Scott, he's an, um, an artist out of Illinois, and the piece is called Tossed. And you look at the piece from afar, and it looks like a painting on the wall. It's a, on a canvas. And then when you get close up, um, you realize that there's actually a video within this painting. You know, watch this. This is my favorite. Here. He's like, hi, honey. I know we had a little disagreement. Uh-oh. Oh, see? Excuse me? <laughs> So we, only, we can only guess what the conversation was about, but... I can make it up. <laughs> I know. You can narrate it. <laughs> and another one of Gregory Scott's work is, uh, is this piece called Attemptuous. And, and obviously he's in both. He's the one that was kicked out of, mm -hmm. out of the Kincaid Cottage. Yes. And here he is in this uh, piece called Attemptuous. And talk about this piece a little bit. Right. So again, it looks to be a painting of a painting. Um, we, we see this reclining nude, you know, the traditional <laughs> reclining nude that we often see in museums. Take a look at her feet and, a little bit. Yeah, she this look is closely killing. and her feet are moving. <laughs> and here we have this gentleman who's trying to woo the reclining nude, you know, doing various acts to impress her. her and That sure would woo me. <laughs> and, you know, she's not really responding to it because, of course, she's a, a painting, so she, she's not really reacting to his advances. And this scene goes on for quite a while. He um, comes back with flowers and chocolate and um, tries a bunch of different attempts. And what happens? Does he give up? He does give up. He does give up. Yeah. And he moves uh, back yeah. to the cottage. Right. Yes. <laughs> back to his wife. <laughs> this whole store shelf is one large self-portrait of the artist. Um, his stage or art name is Jeffu Warmuth, and this is the Super Jeffu Market. It's actually anatomically correct. If you look at it from um, the top down, you have the hair and the, the head, the eyeballs, oh, and sure. the brain are up top, and then moving all the way down to the face, mouth, chest, belly. And then we get down to the feet and the rump roast, right. <laughs> and one of my personal favorites, and down to the toes. And the unresolved guilt. Yeah, hiding on the bottom shelf. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You know, they're, they're pretty lovely spaces, <laughs> really commenting on consumerism and how, you know, that this idea of excess goes th through all gamuts of society. It says it all. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. So there is definitely some social and um, some social commentary here. <laughs> One of the people he loves to, the Martha to, to he loves to make Stay fun born. of Martha Stewart and you know because she's the queen of decoration and uh -huh. you know he's playing off of this idea of the decorative and you know putting Martha Stewart on a skateboard is sort of putting two pop icons together that don't necessarily belong together. Well, I love and, that some, to, to use this somebody as a stand on Martha. Yes. And who's ever stood on Martha I except the time she went to jail. Which is <laughs> why we have this piece here. This is the commemorative prison plate from Martha Stewart. <laughs> that the artist has made, um, commemorating her time in prison for fraud. And but you know she came out looking pretty good. She did. She dropped a few. Mm -hmm. She, she, she did. had some hair done there. There was something happening in prison that I know. was good for her. I know. I think so, She was too. like, hey, girl. She, she was so. able to reinvent herself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of day you dream of, a day full of humor, a building full of humor. We're at the John Michael Kohler Arts Center in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. We've been here for a sense of humor a series of exhibitions. I gotta go, because I've had humor up to here. <laughs> Thanks for having us. I'm John McGivern, this is Arts Digest.